you are the algorithm. All of this has been about you the whole time. Everything you experience, everybody you've come across, everything that you like, all of your interests, your past rates, everything. This whole journey is all about you. Let that sink in for a second. Everything you need to experience anything you want is already locked inside of you. All of the tools that you've ever needed, you've always had them. You might find that hard to believe, but see, that's where my point is made. The beliefs and the opinions that you have, you've picked them up from somewhere. They've been programmed as who you. Them in all the way back to your childhood before you can even remember. Go back furthest in your memory and think about the earliest moment. You can't go to certain times, right? You don't remember when you were a toddler. You don't remember when you were an infant. You don't remember when you were one or two. And in those moments, in that time, it's when that algorithm was being programmed. That's the beginning. Our parents, grandparents, guardians, loved ones, teachers, so forth and so on, they've all played a role in your journey. Some experiences were good, some experiences were bad, just depending upon how we perceive those. But nonetheless, you have always been the reason. Without this right here and this right here, none of this would exist for you. Whatever you put into this, whatever is going on in here is what you'll see out here. If all you're doing is consuming negativity, if all you're doing is consuming things that's just reinforcing your belief in a specific version of the world, then that's what you're going to continue to see. If you look at social media, look at your particular feed, it may look similar to others, but no two feeds are exactly alike. No two people have the exact same interests. No two people have the exact same beliefs, opinions, views, nor experiences. So there's going to be deviations somewhere. There's no one out there who could tell you to live your life exactly the way that you're meant to live because no one else has that answer for you. That answer has always been and always will be with you problem comes in when you've forgotten that. When you've consumed so much junk, when you've consumed so many different people's theories, beliefs, ideas, and opinions, that yours just gets cramped. Instead of realizing that you've always been the observer, you become a passenger in your own experience. You become a passenger who's allowed other people to take over the ride. You've allowed other people to show you where it is that you need to go. It could be because of fear. It could be because of curiosity. It could be for shame, guilt. And all of these things keep adding up. It keeps reinforcing what it is that you see in life. If you want to change your life, change your interests. If you want to change your interests, change what it is that you intentionally seek. If you want to improve yourself, you don't want to seek things that's going to do the opposite effect. You want to seek things that's going to help you. No one said it's going to be easy. No one said it's going to be fair. No one said that you're going to like it, but it's going to be worth it. When you're wanting to get your body together and you're out of shape, you're sick, the things that you must do and pay attention to, it's not gonna be fun at first, but each day, each step that you take going forward in that direction is gonna bring you a step closer to that place that you wanna be. It's vital that you keep that vision right here and don't let everyone else poison your vision. Don't let anyone else give you your vision because that's not theirs to give. That's yours to use. 
that's yours to see, to behold, to live. It's so what that it doesn't look like anyone else. It's so what if no one else agrees with what your vision for your life is. They're not your algorithm. You are your algorithm. You are the algorithm. Now there's many different components to this here. And many different people can influence and control and program your algorithm. But you must understand that the control has always been with you. You can choose to opt out. You can choose to not have certain things recommended to you. Take YouTube, for example. If something keeps coming up in your feed and you've had that feed for some time, that's an indication that at some point you were interested in that. The same with like, A lot of things that we experience at some point, we had some interest in it. Maybe we may not have took part in that experience directly, but just observing it is part of the experience. So just like YouTube, where you could choose the option to not recommend a channel, you have to take a page out of the YouTube book and do that with your own life. Choose to not recommend certain people, choose to not recommend certain places, choose to not recommend certain experiences to yourself. You are the algorithm. You've always been. This message may not resonate with some people out there, but for that very few percentage of people who it's meant to connect with, I'm talking to you. It's time to level up. It's time to elevate. It's time to evolve. It's time to grow. You are the algorithm. What program are you going to run for yourself? What experience do you want to have? It's time. Peace.